U.S. backed peace deal signed by Trump in danger under Biden. This is our topic report. Is Biden about to undo the Trump Afghanistan peace plan? Well, maybe. So this is our topic, Afghanistan peace plan Taliban. So we're tracking a couple of things here, but mostly focusing on the peace plan itself. Suicide bombing in Afghanistan capital as peace meeting delayed. This is from the Republic.com. Uh, in Kabul, a suicide bombing in the Afghan capital injured four people, the government said, hours before Turkey announced the delay of a conference at which it had been hoped Afghanistan's warring sides would reach a peace pact to end decades of war. And uh, we, we should check into this a little bit more <coughs> in detail here. The suicide bomber struck as an, as an Afghan security convoy was passing the Interior Ministry statement said civilians and security personnel were among the wounded. No, no one has taken immediate responsibility. Okay, so they're not going to get into this other part, which is basically the Taliban didn't show up. <laughs> That's why it's been, quote, unquote, the meeting has been, quote, unquote, delayed. Taliban didn't show up. And this is, remember, after Biden was getting all kinds of accolades because, oh, Joe Biden's finally causing peace in Afghanistan. And we're looking into, by the way, a, a story we covered yesterday, how it's not really trying to end the war in Afghanistan. It's trying to privatize it. That, that's what they're they're not going to actually go with Trump's plan of actually removing American power from Afghanistan. They are just going to privatize it. That's 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 the theory. And that's with there's some evidence to suggest that's true. And we're looking into it and we'll get back to you on that. Afghans, Afghans fear women and minorities could lose hard-won rights after foreign troop withdrawal. Well, you had the hard-won rights because the American troops were there, but the American troops weren't there for your freedom. They were there for the interest of the corporate nationalists that the American military essentially has served and been serving at least uh, since George Bush came into office, maybe before that. Uh, but certainly by, by the time George Bush the first comes into office, that transition has already been made. It's just taken couple of decades or so for it to become obvious that that was the case but still heart goes out to these folks as the u.s leaves whether you want the u.s to leave or not you cannot help but feel great pain and anguish at the folks that uh, are going to be left behind especially all the people that so openly supported the u.s and now well there's a big old bullseye on not just on them but their own whole families because in that region the sins of the father's fall upon the whole family. U.S. <coughs> General McKenzie has grave doubts about Taliban's reliability. This is from Al Jazeera.com. An excerpt, foreign troop withdrawals have raised concern that Afghanistan could become a fractured state erupting civil war. A top <coughs> U.S. general said on Tuesday that he had grave doubts about the Taliban's reliability as a negotiating partner as the United States is set to remove all its troops from Afghanistan. And we get this from the Federalist, which is a right-leaning publication. But as partisan publications go, they're more reasonable than many. WAPO runs op-ed by weapons manufacturer board member backing the forever war. By the way, that weapons manufacturer is part of the corporate nationalists. So weapons manufacturers used to be on the side of conservatives, quote-unquote conservatives, Republicans. Now they're part of the DNC. You just... You know, hopefully that will give you you folks on the quote unquote left that think you're actually representing leftist values pause. Your your movement has been co opted by 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 the authoritarian right left in the form of corporate nationalists. And this uh, op ed really highlights that transition has been completed. The Washington Post ran an opinion editorial arguing in favor of keeping American troops in Afghanistan without disclosing that the author sits on the board for Raytheon, a defense contracting company. <clears throat> yeah. Just leave that part out. Will US, ex lead an, will U.S. exit lead another civil war in Afghanistan? All signs point to yes. This is from GlobalVillagePace.com. And the excerpt from the withdrawal of U.S. military forces to the arduous first phase of negotiations and from the intra-Afghan peace talks to the maximalist behavior of Taliban, there lies a bewildering lie and deception. With the least hazardous junction removed, the process of peace was moved to the war-torn country. Let's see where you say about where the conservative... Where the conservative Taliban... They're, they're not conservatives. They're, 
something else. Well, I guess in in terms of of, of Islamo fascism, they're conservative because they they wish to conserve Islamo fascism. Uh, the uh, Taliban and the elected government of of Ashraf Ghani held horns to settle the dust of political fragmentation. That's 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 what's coming. Don't worry about that. I mean, we'll worry about it, but but don't worry about questioning it because it's it's coming. Taliban attacks rising despite international efforts for peace. Well, this is what you do when you're at the negotiating table. Of course, they're trying to show their power. This isn't a surprise at all. From the news.com, despite not officially announcing a, a spring fighting season, the Taliban has increased attacks in various regions of the country, including the strategic area of Kandahar in the south, ba- Balkh in the north, Herat in the west, and Nangarhar in the east. Meanwhile, military an- analysts attributed the surge in violence. Attributed the surge in violence by what? Uh, attributed the surgeon by the Taliban to the group's attempt to, well, there you go, to pressurize the Afghanistan government and to gain leverage in the peace process. Exactly. That's exactly what I said, of course. And then finally, we have this opinion. Meet a Taliban le- met a ta- I met a Taliban leader and lost hope for my country from the New York Times. This is from Farhanaz Farhanaz as men continue to bicker over the future and control of Afghanistan, I have already lost my home and my country. I worked in com- Kabul as a television journalist for 12 years and finally left in November after threats to my life. And anybody else is there who should get out too because the Taliban, they mean absolute. They control through death. Like all nation states and all factions do, even the, even the corporate nationalists, they control through death because even though the nation states are kind of kind of becoming more and more beholden to them for some, well, not quite a moronic reason because the same people that control the corporate nation, the corporate nationalists also control the, the, their, their people are in the governments. So that's why the governments are willing to protect the corporate nationalist interest. And there you go.